Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we will start taking a look at the Windows Settings app and we'll do it in a um, kind of a dual mode way. Uh, one video with Windows 11 settings, one video with Windows 10 settings, but each video will follow each other and have the same settings or as close as possible of settings when uh, we check them out. So if I look at display settings in one, I'll look at display settings in the other. So here's Windows 11. We're going to take a look at the first settings that are the display settings. Uh, when you go to settings and in the system tab, you have display. Notice that in Windows 11, settings have little arrows. Some are pointing down, pointing up, pointing to the right, tells you that there's more information available. So in display settings in Windows 11, we have the brightness and color at the top, which is brightness. Brightness, of course, that you can choose and you can also have the down arrow by improving battery optimization. So if this is on, that means that if you uh, have a laptop and unplug the laptop runoff of batteries, then the brightness might actually go down because they will improve the optimizing, they will improve the battery. Uh, and we know that brightness is a big part of what uses a lot of battery. Night light, well, that is that setting that uh, basically reduces blue light on the display, which apparently interferes with our sleep. You can turn this on. And when you turn that on, of course, you see all the colors go different because it changes the colors. I don't know if you see it on the um, here on the um, on the screen because it uh, sometimes changes the colors in a way that the screen recorder doesn't see them. Uh, of course, another pointing arrow. There's a lot of other options. So remember to always look at you know the pointing the arrows what where they're pointing. If when they're pointing on the right side, that means there's another panel with more information. So you can turn on now. And you can change that, change that to uh, strength, and you can schedule it to when it turns on or off. Uh, when you do this, you will actually have either set hours or set uh, sunset to sunrise in this case. So I will remove that because I don't use this, but uh, for some people it might help. HDR. What's HDR? HDR is I dynamic range, and this means you might have a display on your computer that has HDR. iDynamic range improves video playback, improves the screen and color response. It is something that you should be uh, using uh, when you play games, when you play videos. Not all the displays have HDR capabilities. That's something to know. HDR is more on the latest screens and latest devices. But if you do, it's going to tell you if it's supported or not. So here it says play streaming HDR video supported. Uh, play streaming HDR video on. And of course, you can calibrate that HDR screen. Um, there's a way of calibrating with the uh, Windows operating system. Uh, there's, of course, um, all of the display HDR options and including battery options for HDR and video playback. We'll go into a little more detail on some of these settings because right now we're going into general settings. The scale is, well, how much or it's the size of the different options, the, the screen uh, text and so on. So you can change the scale of the layout. That changes everything. Uh, including the text size, it actually changes everything, including even the taskbar size you see here at the bottom. So that changes a lot of things, and you see that there's more stuff being visible, but everything is smaller. So it depends on what you want to use. I use a 150, mostly because of my video playback and my video um, recording for uh, YouTube, which makes it easier for everybody to see stuff. Display resolution, of course, you have a recommended recommended display resolution that you can change. You can change it to custom uh, resolution depending on the screen that you have. Display orientation, landscape, portrait, or you want to flip 
the screen. Uh, support for multiple displays. If you have another display, there's the options to detect other display here and connect to a wireless display here. So depending on what you have connected, um, you can, of course, if you have an um, HDMI cable, for example, connected on another screen, you can click detect if it's not automatically detected. And this will check for other screens. One word here about this, if your second screen is not properly detected, it might be because the graphics adapter that you use actually has its own external settings for a second display. When that happens, it happens that um, Microsoft Windows does not have control of the screen. Wireless displays, certain types of displays can be connected to. When you click connect, it will actually search for displays that are compatible. Here I have a Samsung 65-inch uh, TV that is compatible that I can click. Uh, connect to and then you have of course uh, the advanced options which is display information the refresh rate and uh, also you can change refresh rate depending on what you're using as a screen and so on and if you are looking at other displays because some displays for example I have only one display right now because it's the internal screen of the laptop but if I plug in a second screen there will be display too, and actually uh, I have another graphics adapter in my laptop. So this one is the AMD Radeon graphics, which is rather crappy, honestly. But there's also a NVIDIA in this machine, which is a much better graphics adapter. So if I, you know, choose another screen, that will show up. And then graphics, you will see the graphics um, information. This actually is where you will set the default graphic adapter for an app. So if you click on an app, for example, already, if I look at options, it gives me the options of let Windows decide, which is not always good because it's not always detecting it properly. You have power saving, which uses the standard Radeon graphics, but graphics of a game, for example, might be crappy. And of course, high performance, in this case, my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, which is much better. And then you save that option that you want to choose so that that app, if you want to add an app, you can choose between desktop apps or Microsoft's or apps. And then you can browse for that app if you wish to add it to the display settings to choose the proper uh, display adapter. There are exceptions to the rules that some apps just don't want to switch, and that is an annoyance sometimes, but uh, for the most part, it actually works. On games, Windows is pretty good at automatically choosing the correct graphics adapter. It depends on the type of app that you're trying to have it use its graphic adapter. So that was a quick look at the system display settings of Windows 11. We'll have the same video done with the uh, Windows 10 operating system so that um, everybody can see and learn a little more about its different settings in Windows. Keep in mind, a lot of these settings, I will actually come back with a video which will be much more uh, focused on and precise on that setting so that you learn even more um, on this. We're actually right now going through just general settings. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.